equalization basin uh, volume calculation and its effect on bioreloading this is we are going to discuss in this video actually it is little bit complex like uh, softening process so i thought it would be better if i prepare video otherwise most of you will ask a similar type of queries just like in softening i i was I was replying or I was sol solving queries of all of you, almost similar queries you were asking. So I think it is better for me to prepare video so that everyone, everyone's doubt can be resolved within the shorter period of time. So in this, uh, we are going to find out the volume of equalization basin and how equalization basin is affecting the BOD loading so volume calculation part is easy the little bit complex part is the how BOD is getting affected by equalization so let's first uh, talk about the volume calculation so how we are going to find out the volume so for volume calculation you require the graph graph how which graph cumulative volume versus time okay so cumulative volume we have to find out first so how are you going to find out cumulative volume this this is given data okay so this 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 three are given in the question so what is this this is your flow incoming flow qi it is in meter cube per second so flow you know okay for each hour there is a different flow for each hour sometimes it is higher sometimes it is lower so let's first calculate or convert this flow in terms of volume so to convert this flow what what first data integrates 0 0.275 meter cube per second for first hour or between 12 midnight to 1 am 0 0.275 meter cube per second flow is coming so if you convert into the meter cube per hour how will you convert 0 0.275 into 3600 meter cube per hour or you can write only meter cube because this is one hour so this much meter cube is the volume so if you just do calculation you will get 990 similarly you do for a second 22.220 0 0.220 into 3600 from this you will get volume you want you will get volume okay you will not get cumulative volume so you have to add this v plus previous value okay i, I will i will show you i have written equation here what is cumulative volume here this is this is it what is cumulative volume cumulative volume it's your volume plus previous previous volume you have to add now then only it will be cumulative okay so this is nothing but the conversion of meter cube per second into meter cube or meter cube per hour and this is adding of previous and finally it is meter cube okay i hope you are getting this okay so cumulative volume so i have shown you the example so that you won't get confused so this is your one one uh, for example this is the you first multiply with uh, 3600 this much meter cube you will get 468 meter cube volume this is volume so cumulative volume will be this plus previous one this is previous one so this is your cumulative volume for this particular hour similarly I have shown you for this particular hour just multiply with the 3600 you will get volume at the previous one you will get cumulative volume okay 
so you will get cumulative volume this way okay so you will get cumulative volume now what you have to do actually is one more thing you have to calculate the average average this data will be up to this data is given but average will not be given so average is just calculate all data divided by number of data here number of data is 24 so all all this uh, just just summation of all this plus 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 divided by 24 okay you will get average average you got okay now cumulative volume you got now you have to plot the graph because time you know cumulative volume here is the uh, cumulative volume you got okay cumulative volume you got now just plot the graph and uh, from the graph you will get the volume of equalization basin so here this is 24 hours this is zero so from here you just plot all data points you will get curve okay you will get curve like this first from all data points you will get curve and then from last point from this point you draw a straight line which will intersect at zero okay so you draw this straight line then then what you have to do parallelly para parallel to this straight line draw a farthest line which is which will touch this this what do you what do you, what do you call this one the the farthest or the i <laughs> i don't know what to say what do you call this one i hope you understand you just uh, draw the line which is the far most line from this line or which which is at the top of this like a hill like a structure what do you say what do you call that whatever you so okay so you got this point you got this point okay so from this you you just draw a straight vertical line okay and then from here you just read the value and this is this will be your uh, volume okay so volume you got this is uh, easy part uh, volume you got but now effect on BOD calculation it is a little bit complex it is not that complex uh, you, you just uh, listen everything carefully understand everything each and every point carefully and then you just practice two three times you will be able to solve this numerical it is not that complex but but the thing is that you have to understood otherwise you will if you will try to memorize then then it will create the problem okay so let's talk about uh, how bod is uh, getting or it's is changing or it's getting affected uh, by the presence of uh, equalization basin so first uh, let's let's convert this BOD milligram per liter into the kg per hour so how are you going to convert this milligram per liter to kg per hour so first milligram per liter milligram per liter convert into the kg per meter cube 1 milligram per liter is equal to how much 10 dash to minus 3 kg per meter cube okay and convert this meter cube per second to meter cube per hour so you have to multiply with 3600 why we are doing this because we, we, we require hour uh, in the denominator and we required kg okay here i have shown you okay to convert milligram per liter into kg per meter cube 1 milligram is 10 to minus 6 1 milligram is 10 to minus 6 kg liter is equal to 10 to minus 3 meter cube so 10 to minus 3 k 
ये जी पर मीटर क्यूब सिमिलर वे मीटर क्यूब पर सेकंड धनवर्जन इंटू मीटर क्यूब पर आवर ये हो मल्टीप्लाई बाय थ्री सिक्स डबल जीरो ओके सो वंस यू कन्वर्टेड दिस सो इफ यू वांट टू यू कैन डू लाइक दिस यू जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई विथ दिस डेटा विथ टेन डेस्ट माइनस थ्री ओके एंड यू जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई दिस डेटा विथ थ्री सिक्स डबल जीरो ओके एंड देन यू मल्टीप्लाई बोथ दिस वैल्यू दिस बोथ वैल्यू यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस बोथ वैल्यू दिस दिस होल दिस फर्स्ट दिस सेकेंड यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस एंड यू विल गेट दिस आंसर ओके बट फॉर सिंप्लीफिकेशन वॉट यू विल डू दिस इज टेन डेस्ट टू माइनस थ्री राइट सो वॉट इट विल बी थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स राइट सो यू जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई विथ थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स आई एम टेलिंग यू दिस इज शॉर्ट कट लाइक कंसेप्चुअली यू अंडरस्टैंड लाइक यू जस्ट फर्स्ट कन्वर्ट इन टू द मीटर क्यूब पर आवर एंड एन के जी पर मीटर क्यूब बट शॉर्ट कट इज यू जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई विथ थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स सी यू जस्ट फर्स्ट मल्टीप्लाई विथ दिस बोथ डेटा एंड देन यू मल्टीप्लाई विथ पॉइंट सिक्स यू विल डायरेक्टली गेट द के जी पर आवर बी ओ डी ओके दिस इज द आई थिंक द फास्टेस्ट वे टू कैलकुलेट जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई बोथ ऑफ दिस वैल्यू मल्टीप्लाई वे दिस विथ थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स एंड यू विल गेट द आंसर डायरेक्टली ओके सो दिस इज दिस कॉलम यू अंडरस्टूड दिस इज हाउ यू विल कन्वर्ट द बी ओ डी इन के जी पर आवर ओके now let's move on this is without equalization now let's move on to the to the next part equalization let me first explain some concept okay mm, for example this is equalization basin okay so theoretically how it is uh, considered here is a uh, uh, for one hour for example uh, let's take uh, 1 to 2 pm okay 1 to 2 pm uh, water is coming for example uh, at uh, let's take uh, for example uh, 8 7 to 8 7 to 8 Seven to eight, the flow is zero in this tank. Nothing, no water is there in in this tank. No water is there between seven to eight. Okay, seven to eight. So volume of previously stored, previously stored is zero. Volume of there is nothing earlier. There was there was no water present earlier. Water some some water is coming. V inflow, okay, and some water is going out. This is V outflow, okay. So, but this V I and V not is not same. So there will be some storage. For example, V inflow is a hundred meter cube, and Or let's say thousand meter cube, and uh, we outflow let's say nine hundred meter cube. So for one hour, there will be hundred meter cube water storage for one hour because hundred thousand is coming, nine hundred is leaving, so hundred will be remain. So this way, we have to calculate how much water is being being stored. for each hour for each hour how much water is getting stored from graph from this graph we can here see that here this is this is uh, around 7. Point, uh, or 7:45 am 
okay so at this particular time there is no or zero water level okay there is no water in the tank at 7:45 although it is in this explanation it is written 8:30 but it is not correct it at around or between 7 to 8 water equalization tank is empty so at 7 to 8 it is empty at 7 to 8 it is empty so for 7 to 8 let me write down the stored volume stored equation here it is volume stored here it is equalization tank so for 7 to 8 hour for 7 to 8 hour how much volume previously so for let me just uh, make you more clear at the end of 7 to 8 hour total or final volume will be zero now let's talk about next 8 to 9 hour okay 8 to 9 hour water is coming previously stored water there was no previously stored water between 8 to 9 because in between 7 to 9 the tank was completely empty so in 8 to 9 inflow inflow whatever inflow will be there and minus outflow okay this is this will be the total stored volume i think you are not getting let me explain this once again let's just look at the table so this is the table so you can see inflow is not fixed inflow is is not fixed it is continuously varying okay this is continuously varying it is not fixed but in your water treatment plant here is the for example here is the equalization basin next next some your uh, pst or coagulation or asp whatever is like whatever for that you need you require the constant outflow so constant outflow will be coming out from the equalization basin so how much constant outflow will be it is just just take the average this is this we this is what you will provide as outflow this is what you will fix 0.307 if you multiply with 3600 it will be meter meter cube per hour this will be your outflow for per hour and it will remain fixed because you have to supply the water or the waste water at a constant flow rate so 0.3 this is equal to 1106 meter cube per hour so outflow 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 will remain constant but inflow will vary vi inflow will vary because see these are the very different different inflow plus v previously stored some water will uh, stored that will differ minus v outflow this is this will remain same okay okay so, so let's uh, just look at the table then you will better understood i think so this is very important equation volume of water stored is equal to previously stored whatever is coming minus whatever is going out with the table you will so here uh, i i have just uh, it's this is their form not their i mean it's similar formula just some notation difference so i have put it in the very simple simplified manner so that you won't get confused with this this complex notations so in this uh, you can see here this is how, how how this column calculated it is nothing but 8 to 9 
between 8 to 9 how much was the flow here 8 to 9 mm, here it is 0 0.4 0 0.4 into 3600 okay this is where this flow is calculated 8 to 9 okay just multiplication with uh, 360 this con this is just conversion of in meter cube per hour ma so this is you got volume of flow during particular hour volume inflow volume inflow this is coming now vi what is this second column so uh, so this column how you look at this column you will get from initial table or the uh, table given in the question next is volume of water stored so how will you get this volume of water stored again similar i have explained you the equation volume of stored is equal to v previously stored plus v i minus v outflow okay so if you just calculate for this i have like show you shown you the calculation so this outflow outflow will remain constant for all inflow in inflow will vary this is inflow this is inflow and value volume of water previously stored so initially during 8 to 9 there was no water stored previously okay because between 7 to 8 tank was been completely empty, empty between 7 to 8 so during 8 to 9 there was no previously stored water but at the end of 8 to 9 at 9 hour at 9 at 9 am how much water is getting stored is this is inflow minus outflow plus previous is stored so how much remain 172 at 9 am 172 meter cube water is stored okay now let's talk about 9 to 10, uh, 9 to 10 am so in that how much water is coming this much water is coming this is going out plus here see this one was previously stored so this one also you have to consider so you will get 542 similarly you similarly i have shown like this is the outflow this is inflow this is previously stored this is the final stored this is inflow this is outflow this is previously stored this is final stored okay so this is how you this is how you calculate uh, this second column okay this second column calculation is like that i have shown you the simplified noti notation here here so this is inflow this is v stored okay inflow this is v stored so second column you calculate like this so see i have told you now it's seven between seven to eight it is the volume of water stored is zero okay i'm talking about don't confuse about previously stored and stored this is stored not previously stored okay and can in calculation what is this zero it is previously stored 542 542 is what i'm making like telling you again and again so that you won't get confused what is 962 it is previously stored so in calculation of stored water previously stored water is being added and minus outflow plus inflow that is get you know okay the i hope you understood first and second column because okay 
now let's talk about the bod calculation so bod how this 175 200 215 220 came it is given in the first question so 175 200 for 8 9 and 9 10 this is for 8 9 and 175 200 okay so this is the data this is the this column is copy pasted there okay this column so this column taken from the question table how is the, so this is what this last two column this is very very important to kill uh, what do you say understand so this is nothing but your BODs this is nothing but your BOD BOD store or it is in outflow why this is equalization tank outflow is constant okay so for whatever water will be stored here whatever water will be stored here so BOD of uh, stored water that will be the BOD of outflow obviously I am telling you again whatever water is stored here is going out now so BOD stored is equal to BOD outflow now BOD outflow okay whatever water so you, we can say it like a BOD stored or BOD outflow see this is what I have written this is BOD inflow given in question this is BOD stored or BOD outflow that is what we have to calculate and this is very important so how we are going to calculate so I am I have provided you the simplified equation how so this is uh, your equalization basin so uh, let's talk about first uh, any time duration uh, which time duration like this then like 9 to 10 for example so between 9 to 10 some previously stored water will be there between 9 to 10 some inflow is coming okay so you have to it is just like uh, it's just like the in the hardness you have or in the softening you have calculated the bypass I think it is easy to understand by just looking at it inflow how let, let's just look at the data let's take 9 to 10 this data or, or let's just like take the highlighted part this is 3 to 4 this 3 to 4 let's just take that volume inflow is this and stored is this okay so in this tank between 3 to 4 how much is stored for example this much water is already stored and it has BOD of uh, how much previously stored BOD how much it is 209 okay 209 and how much volume it is 2464 okay this is previously stored during 3 to 4 3 to 4 hour but in 3 to 4 hour there is some uh, new BOD is also coming so there is some new BOD is also coming how much it is first volume is 1260 and uh, how much BOD it is 190 okay so this is now okay so this much so what will be the total BOD of this it will be 1260 into 1260 into 
how much 190 plus this much we have to add 209 into 2464 all divided by volume all divided by this 12 6 2 1 2 6 0 and 2 4 6 6 4 I think I have explained you the concept concept now you will easily recall uh, like you will easily understand the formula this is inflow how much inflow is uh, inflow BOD is coming how much already there and obviously you have to multi uh, divide it is it with by the total volume so it will you will get the stored BOD or whatever is getting stored it is it, it, that is only going out so that is outflow BOD keep in mind this is previously stored huh not currently stored currently stored that is what you you are going to found out now so previously stored now now let's just uh, look at this for 3 to 4 you just have to current current inflow and previously stored this this two just multiply this two and just divide by the volume incoming so you will get 203 okay so this is how this column or BOD stored or BOD outflow is calculated here also I have shown you the calculation for your example or for your understanding okay this is also calculation of this how it is coming so these two inflow this is inflow this is previously stored and all is, is added and just divided with the flow total total volume or total flow whatever you want to call so this is how this 216 came okay I, I have explained you in like in very basic manner but still if you are not clear then then ask ask me in the comment section or you can call me or you can <laughs> come at my room so this is uh, calculated this is this this part is calculated now the last column now last column is nothing but converting this outflow bod into the kg per hour this is milligram per liter how will you convert into kg per hour outflow keep in mind that don't multiply with inflow this is outflow bod na? the bod is going out the water is going out out from the system so you have to multiply with outflow not inflow and outflow is what outflow outflow is fixed now that is what you want outflow is fixed how much fixed 0 0.307 that is average and you converted into the meter cube per hour 1106 meter cube per hour so outflow is fixed 1106 meter cube per hour okay so you convert this into kg per meter cube how much it is 10 to the minus 3 kg per meter cube into 1106 so just directly 1106 into 10 to the minus 3 is 1.106 so you just simply multiply with 1.106 you will get this value you will multiply 1.106 you will get this value okay similar way you just mul multiply with 1.106 this point and you will get the kg per hour value okay you can if you want you can do like this 203 into 10 to minus 3 into volume is 1106 you can do like that also there's nothing harm in that but this is what it's it's like slight like little bit time consuming but this more of a straightforward okay so this this the uh, for last uh, uh, portion is or last column 
is calculated kg per hour bod of outflow now you have to just draw, draw the diag or draw the graph for comparison how will you will draw let me just explain you so that you will be graph will be of what for one graph one graph will be what of what time versus bod outflow of equalization like uh, when equalization is provided let's bod like this is one graph second graph is what time versus bod without equalization okay this is without okay and the third graph is of what time versus flow so this one two three graphs you have to plot but let's plot each graph like all three graphs in single plot how you just take time here take flow here take bod here and for equalization or with equalization you show the notation with darker line for without equalization you just show with uh, like uh, some other um, slightly lighter arrow and for equalization you will understand with you will understand graph with when you show the graph when i will show the graph, the graph. okay i will i will tell you this first let's look at the graph how how is this graph prepared this is time time versus flow flow taken from question table question table okay flow taken from question table and uh, the bod value bod value taken from the table we have calculated for equalization this value have taken oh, no not that <laughs> this this value has taken kg per hour this is with equalization and without equalization this first table value this is we have taken okay so you just plot each point on graph and connect all point with lines then you will get this for a flow inflow this is inflow line or inflow curve like see here at, uh, at what is this 2 pm or 3 pm this much flow for 12 pm very high flow for 12 this much flow but outflow look at this outflow outflow is constant how much one one zero six or zero point three zero seven meter cube per second this is constant okay it's constant now you can see see here it is around zero point three zero seven outflow is constant so this is the outflow line okay So let me just draw first this is in the flow line okay then next is your outflow line okay so this is your outflow line this is okay outflow it is constant next 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 is your without equalization beauty this is this is without equalization okay and the last is with equalization last this one this one okay so you can see here you can see here that this this orange line 
is is showing very low fluctuation in BOD loading, so it will be very good uh, for the further treatment unit like ASP and all. But without uh, equalization, you can see this purple line. This is very high fluctuation. Okay, and this is so. What equalization does? It uh, give you two advantage. One here, look this flow equalized. Second, look at this BOD. Okay, this one, this one. Okay, so flow equalized and the BOD concentration also is a almost homogeneous concentration we have got or low fluctuation will occur due to the equalization okay so okay that is all about equalization you just have to uh, you just have to find out first volume cumulative volume then plot the graph and you calculate the volume required and then for BOD fluctuation you have to calculate the outflow BOD and from outflow BOD you will get the value and you plot the graph and this is the relation okay so that is all and if you have any question queries you can definitely ask and do not hesitate obviously to ask I'll be happy to help you.